Give me eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart full of understanding. I thank you for whatever messages you have for whoever gets to hear this. And I thank you for being with me. Woo! Flying out. Okay, we have the orchid and fertility. And we have the search, feeling lost, confused, lonely. Oi. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry if you can hear the neighbors working in their yard. <laughs> I really feel like there's only one thing that this could be about, <clears throat> which <clears throat> I do feel like we've already covered, but um, perhaps more will come out. Okay, let's get to painting. so cold. I feel like my paint froze. I don't even know if that's possible. My heart already feels a bunch of anguish just at this topic. Um, I think it was covered a little bit in the first video that I did on motherhood. Um, I'm actually gonna share, because most of you don't know who I am. So I'm gonna share. Um, my sister is going through a very struggling time. She's done IVF several times and cannot get pregnant and they've been trying for years um and it's such a it's such a struggle it's such a heartache to feel like your body can't work can't do what it needs to do um So here's the first message that I have. And in fact, it's one I need to hear for myself as well. It is not your fault that your body is not perfect. <laughs> it is not your fault that you're not getting what you want. This is a part of our sorrow that we go through in life.
Any other specific messages, please? Give yourself time to feel the heartache. Give yourself time to feel the loss of not having that child that you desperately want. Allow yourself the freedom to feel everything, to have all the different thoughts as screwed up as they could possibly be even, just all the different thoughts, go through the cycle, go through the process. Self-care, heck, go buy some chocolate, some wine, whatever your, your thing is. I do have um, a message and Obviously it's not for everyone, but I am hearing keep trying, keep trying. That's just for some of you. You need to feel that it relates to you. I don't wanna give false hope to anybody. Um, if that is for your life, then that is for you. I feel so much grief right now. Oh, here's another one. Come together with your partner. You're not alone in it. You have a partner with you. They also have their feelings and it's okay to cry together. It's okay to be angry together. I was um I was 17 weeks pregnant when I lost mine. My husband at the time wanted me to lie and say it was a miscarriage, but it wasn't. It was an abortion. But the child inside was dying. It took me 10 years to cry because I didn't feel I went numb and you know, that's a coping mechanism. It is okay, but I'm here to encourage you to go ahead and feel, feel it. Because you need to let that energy out of your body. I could have had a sweet little girl <laughs> rocking her in my arms. And yes, because I don't have that, there were times I have felt alone and a great loss. Uh, I see other people with their children and I try not to be jealous. I try not to care. not in my story maybe maybe when I'm older <laughs> I'll be I'll be an old old mom I'll foster or adopt and I can still give the love that I have inside to somebody's kid I am with you. You are not alone. As you can see by my tears, you can hear it. I am truly with you. I understand. Ugh. I say let's put some hope in here, huh? Let's do that. Let's get some sunshiny hope. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay.
Okay. <laughs> any other, any other messages? Ugh. Also, I apologize. I know you guys can hear the um, fan going off. Uh, I'm, I do this in my garage. So you get to hear all the noises. <laughs> uh, this is my own personal thing and I'm sorry I, I really don't mean for these to be about me but the orchid um, is like the one plant I can't grow <laughs> and it has to do with fertility which is also something I'm not able to do either. Um, yeah, so that's kind of funny. <sighs> Have any personal messages, please? <sighs> ah, it is not wrong to hope. It is not wrong. Sometimes we go through a process where we have had hope and we are disappointed because it doesn't work out. Um, and then we start to believe that hope is just another demon that we shouldn't hope. But um, we need it in our lives. We need hope. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm going to uh, openly pray for those of you that are doing the process of IVF. I, uh, I ask for their, their patience and support for them. I ask that oh, they receive what they need. They're able to feel all their emotions and go through the whole process. ask for signs for those of the you that are into that I ask for signs that you would um give people signs that they need something to look for something that means something to them to give them that hope Uh, I was just looking at the card again, the um, search card, and I've noticed that there is this vine going around her, and I was given just the thought of, go be outside, go, go dig in some soil, go get some sun on your face, 
perhaps some of you have been in this process for so long of trying to have children um, and not been able to that you're now truly in a depressed state. And uh, just thinking that nature can give you some clarity, can uplift you a bit. Um, I don't normally do this. I normally just have the two cards, but this card was kind of popping up, so I looked at it, and it says liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. And maybe that's what this whole thing is about. Maybe you've just been defeated and broken feeling from your loss, whether it's an actual loss of a child or your loss of not being able to have children. Perhaps it is time, it's your time to heal and to break free. <sighs> Anything else? I'm um, being reminded that whatever you want to call it, if you want to call it God or spirit guides, whatever it is, that they are there for you. They are truly there for you to reach out to in your times of need. You need to be comforted. Wrap yourself up in a blanket. Get some good chocolate and talk. Talk with them. Remember that you're going to get through it. I'm also hearing help is on the way. Not exactly who that is for, but whatever your circumstances, uh, if you feel that that was for you, if you felt that quickening in your heart when I said that that's for you, help is on the way. I think, I think this is it. It's calm and quiet, so I'm gonna call it. Um, I thank you for watching, and I thank you for feeling. And I hope you know that you're not alone. I hope you know that you're loved. I love you. I hope you guys take care.